you know, the, the biggest thing that I see to, to deliver our message is all eyes are on me. All eyes are on my APs, my counselors, anyone on leadership. And we have to perform like we want our kids to perform. When my teachers see me, if I'm in a down mood, they're in a down mood. If I'm up and I'm praising and I'm on my game, that's how they are. So it's just very intentional on my part and that I have to empower my staff, my leadership staff, is that we're leading. They, they're going to follow us one way or the other, and it might as well be a positive message that impacts kids' lives. You know, the, the biggest thing there is we all have bad aspects. I've got plenty of bad things going on that I would love to change, but a lot is in my personality. But I can't dwell on those things. We're going to make a mistake every day every day and my thing is if i learn from it and do something different the next time that's fine i can't dwell on the bad i've got to spend my effort on the things that are going well like getting kids applied for college getting them to fill out financial aid teaching them that effort matters it it's those things that a true leader does the the deficits that we all have they won't go away but they'll be minimized by the good things that we do and the good things that we promote every day. You know, communication is hard on a big campus. The big thing is my staff and kids, they need to see me. They need to see my leadership team. That's why, you know, half or over half of my time has to be out of my office, in the classrooms, in the halls, at events, talking. Talking to teachers, talking to kids, talking to community members, talking to anyone that will listen. I had to invest in the community and it, all of it's not about education. It's about a lot of different things that help bring a school together. Um, in our fine arts, our athletics, even community presence at events, it just it drives what we do here. We have a saying that we want to be a powerhouse, the powerhouse. To do that, it takes all those aspects. And you have to be willing to do it. Get out and do it. The whole mindset goes back to this, this simple premise that I have to preach every day is that it's the adult's responsibility to prepare kids for success beyond high school. If we don't prepare a kid, it's our fault. And it's hard to get buy-in in a secondary. Uh, and sometimes you just get flat out resistance from that. But the critical mass has to agree that we're the key. If a kid is going to be successful, we have to do it. That's our no excuses message right there. We've got to find a way to meet the need of that kid. Call it elementary, call it middle school. We just call it real life. That's what happens. We have to meet them and provide what they need to get them over the hump.